Hi, Renee. It's Lindsay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, um, and just to kind of answer your, like your first bit of questioning about cropping and, and yeah, those are all, those are all right things to do. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that, that like you have to follow those rules, if that makes sense. I'm, you know, I, I tend to sort of follow what I feel versus what I, th I think, you know, are the rule of thirds or, or, you know, limbs and things like that. It doesn't mean that I haven't ever, you know, chopped off limbs and, and for the most part, yeah, I do follow the rule of thirds. Um, but I don't always do it like on purpose. It just seems to kind of follow in that way. But, um, yeah, yeah, of course that's right. Those are all right. Um, but, but certainly it doesn't mean that, um, <clears throat> you know, you, you can't kind of change it up. Okay. So this first shot, I love this first shot. I love your whole explanation about it. You know, that it's just, it, this image is precious to you because of what is going on. And, and that can be seen in the image. Um, I, I like it. I really, really like it. I, um, yeah, I think you're right. I think it needs a little bit more brightening. I think it needs to be, um, the mid-tones should probably be adjusted. And yeah, you could do kind of a selective, you know, exposure, selective adjustment, um, selective mid-tones. Um, you know, I don't always recommend that because it tends to, to make it look unnatural. And I'd far rather brighten up the whole image and then have to slightly, you know, darken her up on her skin a bit if that makes sense, I, you know, because it, it just doesn't look right. Um, if you do a selective mid-tone or lighten, um, on certain, certain things. Um, <clears throat> I, I did just a quick black and white of this because I, because I really love this and you were saying, you know, I know the colors look weird and of course you're not going to move them. You're not going to try to be like, Oh, let me, let me capture this moment by faking it, by moving you, you know, <clears throat> no, you're capturing it in the moment. That's what you want. Um, but, um, because for, and this isn't for me, this is just personal, um, because, because this, this book is so green and bright and it is distracting and it's distracting to me into what's really going on, which is the focus that you have on her and, um, you know, her papa. And, um, so I, I just did, I just did a real quick black and white and I cropped it a little bit tighter. So I cropped it in so that, so that I wasn't getting that front part of the couch where you can kind of see this right here. Um, you know, I just kind of cropped that out cause, cause you don't need that. And you also don't need this excess of the couch here and you don't even necessarily need his full hand in the image. Yeah. We want, we want to see that he's holding the book. Um, but, but the focus is, is, is the book your baby and, and Papa. So it's all this right here. So everything else doesn't matter. Um, so I just, like I said, I tightened it up a little bit. I did it in black and white just because that green was a little bit too much for me. Um, uh, it's not to say that you shouldn't have it in color. Um, but like, this is something that I would put up in my house, you know? Um, and I like the black and white because it, it really f focuses to the moment. Um, and you can see I brightened it up a little bit, but it's not too much. Um, and it, and it goes okay with this black and white. So, um, that's just an idea. That's just, you know, to kind of, again, you know, think about, do I need this excess? Does it lend itself to the image? If it doesn't, then take it out. Um, you know, it, it's, it's one thing to have it there and say, well, this balances out the image. That's why I need it there. Um, but if, if you don't, then yeah, you get rid of it. Um, and, and this definitely down here, you get rid of that. Um, but love this shot. Great shot. Great moment that you caught. It's, it's really sweet. Okay. And this next shot, um, love this. I love the kind of backlight going on. I don't mind that her hair is in her face. I know you kind of mentioned that, but, um, I don't mind it. It's like from what it sounds like, it's how she is. Um, so, um, I, I think it's great. And I think, um, you know, it's very natural looking and, um, sweet. I, if I had to pick anything nitty gritty, I just don't like that her legs out, but you know, that's just not anything that you can necessarily control, especially when you said she's wild. Um, 
I that's just the one thing, you know. If there was another shot where her leg was down, I and I liked her face over the other one, then I would have just I would have just put that one in it. I would have just composited the images and and put that one in with her leg down. Um because I think it would have made the image better. Um you know, I love everything else in it. I love the bokeh. I love um how she's positioned in the image. I just don't like it that her legs out. And that's the only thing. Um you know, maybe a touch more of the foreground here w would have helped as well, just a little bit. Um, just to give yourself a bit more. Um, I don't know if I if it was you that I said last week or someone else, but um, I always try to give myself just a little bit. Um, and, and this is speaking in client terms. Well, even in myself, if I'm shooting for myself, because um, I like I like gallery wrap canvases. And that's a lot of what my clients order. And I mean, even if you're doing fine art prints um, and they're gonna frame it, um, you have to make sure that you give yourself enough here because if, if I were to get a, a client that wanted a gallery wrap canvas of this, you would lose so much and then it would be cutting into her dress and then it would really be changing the image. So that's just something to think about. Um, you know, I would, have, I would have pulled back just a bit more, um, you know, to get some of the grass in and, um, to have a little bit more of that foreground, it, it, it would it would be better. Um, but again, really great. Love the backlight. Love the bokeh. Um, love love the sun on her face. Very very cute. Very very cute. Okay. And then this last one. Um, and I'm just kind of reading. I was trying to remember what you said. I did look over it before, but. Um, okay. So as far as this image goes. Um, I, I like the bokeh. I like what's going on with the bokeh. I like, um, I like, I mean, I think his face is hilarious and I love the, the cake smash idea. I love that. Um, I, I, I don't love that there's one eye in focus. I think it's really distracting. I think when you're an artist, it's easy for us to go, yeah, that's kind of cool, you know? Um, but I guess, and maybe I, I just think in client terms, um, this wouldn't be one that I would show a client um, because I, I know they wouldn't print it. Um, you know, maybe, maybe on, on the, you know, on the odd occasion you might get a client that, that does like it. But um, I, I, there, for me, like the image would have been just great if, if the rest of him was in focus. Um, and, and kind of cropping out this dark bit here. I would have cropped that out and got rid of it as well. Because the rest of the image is so light, I would have definitely got rid of this dark bit. Um, but for me, um, this, this just looks like, like you caught him in motion and you only caught a part of him, um, you know, in, in that. Especially because this, the rest of this is so very... Um, you know, um, you know, very out of focus. It looks, it looks a lot like a lens baby shot. Um, and, and again, that's personal. I don't love lens babies. Um, and if that's something that you're, you know, you're going for, well then, you know, more power to you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but again, I mean, I love the idea. I, I, you know, it is a bit bright through here, but, um, you know, I think if he had been in focus, that would have been okay, because um, I love the bokeh in it. But um, yeah, definitely, definitely would have preferred it if 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 this if the rest of him was in focus. Um, but anyway, yeah. So very good. Loved your images this week. Just love this. This is probably my favorite, and I think it's because of the story behind it as well. Um, and love the backlight in this, um, love the colors in this, um, you know, just would have been excellent in, in focus. Um, but fabulous week again, Renee. I'm very looking forward to, um, week three from you. I've enjoyed your last couple of weeks, so this is going to be exciting. Um, looking forward to getting your next week and let me know if you have any other questions. I'm happy to answer. Thanks so much. Bye.